Hey guys, Brian with Workshop Addict, and we are at SEMA 2018 in the Ingersoll Rand booth. We're here with Jarrett, and he's going to talk about progressive adaptive control in rotary screw compressors. That's Take right. it away, buddy. All right, Brian, let me tell you something. You know, when you're operating this air compressor, there's filters inside of it that need to be maintained on regular intervals, and I'm going to show you where they're at. So you got an oil filter, separator element, and an air filter. And the one I'm really concerned about is the separator element. This is the one that's taking the bulk of the oil out of the air before it gets into your air system. Over time, it will foul up with contaminants and have a high differential pressure across that. As this starts to foul up, and it's due for service, the motor has to work harder to push the air through the lines into your system because it's trying to meet a pressure set point. We found that sometimes when you neglect servicing this filter, the motor is working harder, it actually can fail prematurely. So what we've done is we've built into the controller, let me show you right over here, we have our microprocessor controller that has an algorithm inside of it that right. monitors that differential pressure. And when it sees that increase beyond the set point that we want it to, the machine will automatically adjust its operating parameters to save the motor. And it's going to give you all kinds of warnings saying, hey, Absolutely. dummy, you should have, uh, you should have yeah. serviced me a while ago. That's right. It's going to be flashing red lights at right. you, telling you it needs some attention. But at the same time, it's telling you that, hey, come service me, but I'm saving you at the same time from a very expensive repair bill down the road. That's like... That's needed in all these new technologies. You're putting so much money into something your business needs to stay functional, right? but yet it's never going to let you down. It's just going to start slowly saving itself, and this is going to tell you what you got to do. Absolutely. I hear a lot of customers that tell me that, you know, hey, uh, my motor failed, right? And, you know, and they're upset about that because their machine is down, that's an expensive repair bill, and I start asking questions of what led up to that. And usually I can find something, you know, maybe the power supply wasn't adequate or they were neglecting the machine from a service perspective. This is something that we put in place to protect the customer from hurting themselves. That's awesome. <clears throat> and this is available in all your rotary compressors? Absolutely, all rotary compressors one. have it, yes. It's awesome. These things are awesome. You know, if you're looking for a nice rotary compressor that's quiet, how many people is this specific unit going to service? So this one's a 25 horsepower. I've got this available in a 15 to 30. It looks in the same frame. Um, this is great for your automotive repair shops, your body shops that have maybe 10, 15 technicians, a couple right. of paint booths, really can handle all that capacity. Awesome. If you're out in the market looking for something that's quality, check out these Ingersoll Rand compressors. Hey guys, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We'll give you more tool news and give you more information on what's going on at Ingersoll Rand at SEMA.